Trajan's Bridge, an ancient marvel of engineering, stands as a testament to the ingenuity and prowess of Roman builders. Constructed between 103 and 105 AD by Emperor Trajan, this monumental structure spanned the mighty Danube River, connecting the Roman provinces of Dacia and Moesia. Situated near present-day Drobeta Terni Severin in Romania, the bridge played a pivotal role in facilitating trade, commerce, and military campaigns across the vast territories of the Roman Empire. At the heart of Trajan's bridge lay a series of innovative construction techniques, meticulously employed to ensure its stability, durability, and architectural grandeur. These techniques, executed with precision by Roman engineers, showcased the remarkable advancements of ancient engineering. The bridge's foundation, critical to its stability, was ingeniously constructed using wooden piles driven deep into the riverbed. These piles, composed of sturdy timber, provided a solid base upon which the bridge's massive stone piers would rest. To secure the piles, large stones and compacted earth were employed, forming a robust foundation capable of withstanding the relentless force of the Danube's currents. Rising from the depths of the river, Twenty imposing stone piers formed the backbone of Trajan's bridge. These piers, meticulously crafted from locally sourced stone, stood as enduring monuments to Roman craftsmanship. Bound together with mortar, the massive stone blocks comprising each pier were carefully laid, their structural integrity fortified against the relentless onslaught of water. Each pier, strategically positioned at regular intervals along the bridge's span, served as both a testament to Roman engineering prowess and a bulwark against the river's might. Central to the bridge's design were twenty majestic arches, each spanning approximately thirty-eight meters across the Danube. The construction of these arches represented a triumph of Roman engineering ingenuity. Utilizing a combination of precisely cut stone blocks and fired bricks, Roman builders fashioned semicircular arches, that not only bore the weight of the bridge, but also distributed it evenly across the structure. The arches, masterpieces of both form and function, epitomized the Roman commitment to engineering excellence. Complementing the graceful arches were supporting columns interspersed between each span. These columns, adorned with intricate carvings and decorative elements, served as both structural reinforcements and aesthetic embellishments. Crafted from the same durable stone as the bridge's piers, these columns stood as guardians of stability, ensuring the structural integrity of Trajan's bridge remained unyielding against the passage of time and the forces of nature. Above the churning waters of the Danube, a meticulously laid roadway provided passage for pedestrians, carts, and legions alike. Constructed from precisely hewn stone slabs and compacted gravel, the roadway offered a smooth and stable surface for travelers to traverse. Elevated above the river's surface, the roadway served not only as a thoroughfare, but also as a symbol of Roman engineering prowess, its steadfast presence a testament to the enduring legacy of Trajan's bridge. To ensure the longevity of this architectural marvel, diligent maintenance was paramount. Roman engineers, ever vigilant, conducted regular inspections of the bridge identifying and addressing any signs of wear or structural weakness. Cracks were filled, stones were replaced, and the bridge was meticulously cared for, ensuring it remained a steadfast link between the eastern and western reaches of the Roman Empire. Trajan's Bridge, with its innovative design and masterful construction, stands as a testament to the enduring legacy of Roman engineering. More than just a crossing over the Danube, it represents the boundless ingenuity and unwavering determination of an empire to conquer not only lands, but also the formidable challenges of nature itself.